Talk, sponsored by Geisinger Holy Spirit. Right now, top health officials continue to urge Americans to practice social distancing to help fight the spread of coronavirus. In this week's Talk Talk, CBS 21's Ed Russo takes a look at another way to mitigate the disease. Check it out. We've learned that COVID-19 is exceptionally efficient at transmitting between people. It's one of the hallmarks of the virus. One of the key ways to reduce transmission is through the practice of social distancing. We know that it's impossible to completely rid our social structure from all human contact, so knowing who may or may not have been exposed is key in reducing spread. That's where contact tracing comes in. So if I were to contract coronavirus, anybody that I've had close contact with, um, since contracting it would be at very high risk of developing it. They would also be at very high risk of spreading it to other people. Whenever anybody who gets tested within Geisinger um, tests positive, we reach out to the person. Um, so if that were me, we, and we say, who have you had close contact with um, in the last couple days? And then we reach out to those people. It's life-saving research that seeks to isolate those who may have been exposed so as not to inadvertently expose others. The process is done by great discretion. We don't say who they were exposed to because we want to protect everybody's identity. So when we call the people's contacts, we do not tell them the name of the person that had coronavirus they may have been exposed to. We speak in pretty general terms and just say, look, you may have been exposed um, in the last few days to somebody with coronavirus. And, and these are the steps that you should take. It isn't easy to stay six feet apart all of the time, especially when you have to go run errands for groceries. Contact tracing really seeks information on people who have had close contact with someone for an extended period of time, not necessarily brief encounters. The way we define that is anybody who lives in a household with you, anybody you share a workspace with, anybody who you've been within six feet of for more than uh, 10 minutes, um, anybody you provide care for, so that may be if I cared for my mother or, um, or a child um, or anybody who has been within two seats of you in an airplane. Isolating yourself when you've been exposed is absolutely key. Check-ins with health care providers are critical when you've possibly been exposed. But right now we're trying to call them back at 7 and 14 days just to check on them. It's a lot like detective work. For this week's Doc Talk, I'm Ed Russo, CBS 21 News.